Ming. Come on. files on Ron and Bethany and Jimmy. I didn't finish going through them. There might be something there. Brenda, I told you, one of us has to be here. I think you should at least inform Mason. No. This time we follow instructions to the letter. No more interference from anyone. It doesn't feel right, David. Why there? Why today? I think Taylor may be right. It's about something other than money. What? I don't know. I don't think you should go. We have nothing to talk about. Columbine. Excuse me? The Columbine shootings in America in 99, Ronan had an obsession with them. A few years ago, 
Ronan read a lot about the Columbine killings. About the boys who did it. He was in a bad place back then, as you know yourself. This was around the time he attacked the swans? Yes. When he was 18, Ronan was mountain climbing with his father and brother. Got lost in a storm. Almost died. That can change a person. When Connor turned 16, the three of them went down to County Kerry. It was November. The forecast wasn't great, but David was confident that they'd make it up and down again before the storm hit. But they didn't. They were all tied together. But in order to negotiate a crevasse faster, David untied himself. The weather was already turning. Connor slipped and fell. He took Ronan with him. The storm was on them by now, and David had a choice to make. He could try and get them both up, but that would take too much time, and the full force of the storm would strand them, and they'd all die. Or he could choose one of them to save. Christ. There was no time to think. David made his choice. The younger one. The weaker one. Connor. He was able to pull him up to safety, just. He told Ronan he'd be back for him. He told him to stay strong. To hang in there. <laughs> I think I'm going to see you at the top. Right. And then when we're up there, we can we're ready. When I saw Ronan walk down through that pass, I thought, I thought I'd made the right decision. Now they're both gone. We don't know that. Ronan is not dead. Ronan is not dead. It was a miracle David and Connor made it down at all. David rang the emergency services. As soon as the blizzard subsided, the search got underway. They found no trace of Ronan. As they were getting ready to pack it in, Ronan came walking down through a pass on his own. He found shelter. Was able to light his stove those first few days, he, he couldn't speak to his father or his brother. He blamed them. Connor suffered for it. He hated himself for having gotten them into trouble in the first place. Two years later, Connor. Connor took his own life. Ronan never shed a tear. And then two months later came the swan killings. I need to speak to your husband. Well, he's attending a function this afternoon. He won't be back until around four. Thank you, Mrs. Mayers, for telling me. This function you mentioned, what is it? We donated to a refurbishment of a section of Connor's school, St. Mark's, in his memory. St. Mark's? David put a lot of time and money into 250 it. 250k? Yes. And the ceremony takes place at 145. Mark Secondary School, get an armed response unit down there now. Mason, turn it around! Turn it around! Come on! Whoa! Whoa! Go, go! go.
Thank you all. Like you, Connor was a transition year student. And like you, he loved football, hurling, soccer, you name it. He was constantly pushing himself to do better, to reach a new level of achievement. Both my wife Brenda and I hope that the Connor Mayor's Sports Hall acts as an inspiration to you all and a reminder that excellence comes from within. Thank you. Everybody, out! Get down! Get down! Get, down. Get the fuck down. down! Your phones! Come on, give me your phones. Phones, now! Come on, hurry up. Ronan? Hey, Dad. That for me? Stop this! You can't cut... Oh. Shut the fuck up! Shut up! <laughs> Everyone now, nice and calm, yeah? Dad, could I ask you to move this way, please? Move! Stop. your own finger cut off, you just shot a guy for what? To make your dad suffer. It's rude to stare. You know full well how sorry I am about what happened. More sorry than you can imagine. He needs help! He's gonna die! Well, help him then! I suffer every day because of what happened to you, Ronan. Because of what happened to Connor. Isn't that punishment enough? No. This is between you and me, Ronan. No one else. You know what? You're right, Dad. This is between you and me. So you know what? Let's really make it about you and me. What are you doing? Jesus Christ, Ron, what the fuck are you doing?